Hello there. Welcome back to the Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'm using Monte Carlo by Ariana and Evans. This is in the K2E base, um, which is their mostly newest base. They got the Ultima base coming out on some special release sense, and then he's got the new VR2 vegan base that's coming out. It smells really great. It's a Creed Aventus dupe. Um, Creed smells fantastic. There's a reason why it's so popular, and there's like almost every soap maker has a dupe of Creed at some point. Smells really nice. I think it's a really good dupe. It smells good. It's, I wish the scent strength was a little bit higher, but that's usually how I feel about Creed in general. Um, all the dupes and clones, I always wish it was just a little bit stronger. But I got it all lathered up here with my uh, Grizzly Bay brush. It's got some nice red gold flakes in there. But it lathers up fantastic. If you've never used K2E, it's really nice. Very slick, very creamy, uh, very dense. Got some pre-shave already loaded up here, some um, Naxima face wash per my usual routine, which is kind of like Parasso. The nut on this is a little, it's set a little high. It was set before I got it. I think I got it, I can't remember if I bought it off the buy sell trade page or if I got it in a raffle, one or, one or the other. But it was already set with the Maggard's two band knot, which is really nice. I mean, the knot itself feels fantastic, but it's just set a little high, so the knot is a little, didn't have a lot of backbone, it just kind of flaps. But I do wish it was set a little deeper. But I think they used epoxy or some more permanent brand of adhesive, so I can't get the knot out without drilling, and I don't want to risk ruining the, the brush. Crazy thick lather. So today is finally I'm gonna uh, make good on my promise to do some straight razor shaves. Uh, I'm gonna caveat that with I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I've done a few. I've used a straight razor a few times. Um, very much a novice. I, I, I haven't gotten a full three pass shave figured out yet. I, I'm not really good against the grain. Um, I'm just kind of mediocre with the grain. But I'm figuring it out. So I have uh, a couple that I got honed um, by a couple of different people off like one of the straight razor shaving groups. Um, a couple guys that you know offered to shave them. One guy paid thirty five bucks for I think, and the other guy did it for free. Um, it was really awesome. And then uh, I got this one from a local antique shop. This is a giraffe straight razor. The scales aren't really anything much. Um, they're actually kind of like, you know, they got a couple of spots where it looks like they've been kind of starburst where they've been smashed a little bit, but they're all in one piece and they work just fine. I wish it was a little tighter on the, the pin there, but uh, what are you going to do? It's old. Um, made in Germany, only because it says Germany on the tang. And really, really small letters right here. Then it also has a, a Minneapolis Robert Supply House from Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is probably why I found it up here in North Dakota. Um, it's trademarked, but I couldn't buy anything out about it, but it's the giraffe is the trademark little giraffe icon, and then it's got giraffe and scroll work on the blade itself. It's kind of faded out a little bit. But uh, I used some lapping paper I bought off eBay, or I think it was eBay. Maybe it was Amazon. Um, but it's kind of like basically like sandpaper, and I cut it into squares and used it like honing, like uh, honing stones. Um, again, don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just kind of worked my way up in a progression. Seemed like it worked okay. I tried it with other razors and it didn't work at all. And I had, like, I did the, I did a home with this one and then with the Wade and Butcher and it did the exact same, at the exact same time, the exact same paper, it's the same progression and everything. And this one is really smooth cutting hairs on my arm. And the uh, Wade and Butcher, like, barely even cuts anything at all. So I think it depends on the steel and the edge and everything else. Butcher probably factors that. I don't really know how to, but we're going to try this out. Like I said, it was really smooth cutting uh, on my arm, like cutting hairs on my arm, it was very smooth. So when I first started doing this, it's hard to get my side burn all the way up here, I can't quite see that high. I was trying to do this like really flat, like right against the side of my face, and uh, that wasn't working out so great. And then I kind of leaned more into angling it out a little bit more like a 
like using a DE, like 30 degrees or so. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like the smoothest shave I ever had, but it's not bad. It feels pretty similar to the one that I had home by someone other than myself. But like I said, I have no idea how to judge an edge on the street. I know there's different versions. People say, you know, whatever, honed on natural stones is better than artificial and laughing paper and Japanese stones and all that. It is a lot slower. At least for me. I imagine speed would come with competence. I'm not very competent. Now, almost everyone says you should switch hands to your left hand of your left side of your face with your left hand. It's better to be a little ambidextrous when it comes to this. I'm trying that. Doesn't always work. Especially in my goatee area. My left hand's a little dumb. I tend to do those kind of short chopping strokes. I've seen some videos where some guys just do like the really, really long fast strokes. That's never worked for me with either straights or with DEs or single edges or anything. I, I, the long, the really long quick strokes have never Never worked for me. I've always had to do this kind of short choppy strokes. I've kind of put it down to like, um, I don't know, it might just be like a facial hair difference, like thicker follicles or something. I find it easier to use my right hand to get this part of my left side of my face. Kind of further I haven't cut myself yet. I did send a couple razors off. Uh, if you watched my last video, I talked about it briefly in that winning video. I sent uh, two razors off to Razor Emporium to get uh, honed, and one of them to get new scales and polished. Is it?
has a tendency to want to skip a little on my face. I'm getting better at it. That's a process. They say it takes like half, you know, 30 days to get even moderately competent at this. I'm kind of aiming for like the 30 day with the green pass. I'm gonna do with the green pass, at least try two most shades for a month and then start working on adding in the neck against the green and then the cheeks last. The cheeks are really hard for some reason. Like I tried that at the very beginning when I was using straights or shavettes and I can't get a with the green pass with these razors. It just tends to like I try and it tends to skip and uh, super worried about cutting myself. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I know why I'm afraid I'm cut myself. I don't know why it's not working well with the grain. I don't know if it's because my hair grows, doesn't grow like straight out. It kind of grows more down and close to the skin. So I don't know if that's causing it to kind of catch and skip. I will say it worked a lot easier to use kind of the toe of the razor to get this spot. Then on this side, I used the the tip of the razor. Oh, I'm bad though. I'm pretty proud of myself. The giraffe worked out pretty well. The little cuts, not too bad. I'll have to hone that up again later. Or not hone, strap. You got a strap here, I got a... It's got like a Russian stamp. Not this if I take off the whip. It's got like this Russian stamp here on the top and then a uh, Hoffert's Germany cutlery stamp down there at the bottom. As you can see, I've nicked it a few times. It was old, it's a vintage uh, strap in a I think pretty decent shape. I found it online. Um, the little nicks don't really affect me too much. At least I don't think they do. I thought it was interesting that it had this Hoffert's Germany uh, cutlery uh, logo at the bottom and then this Russia uh, thing on top. I don't know how old this drop is. It's old. I mostly got it for the Hoffritz, not for the Germany part, but whatever. Kind of neat. For the rest of the shaver, we're just going to use the winning. We're going to clean this up. Should go a little faster there. I am curious to get these razors back from Razor Emporium. I know, I mean, it's got some mixed feedback on there, but I think any storefronts like that, there's always going to be someone that has a bad experience. Uh, whether it's justified or not. Um, sometimes there's just sour grapes. I, I've talked to Matt online quite a few times about other stuff and I, I trust his business. I think they've done really good work. I've sent other razors there to be refurbished and replated and everything. And he always stands by his work if there's always been an issue. He always takes care of it right away. So I'm not worried about any of that. But I am curious as to how they're gonna feel these like professionally honed straight razors versus what I got from some guys off Facebook and then I, I have no confidence in my skills doing it myself, obviously. It was more I was curious if I could. Lapping paper is pretty cheap. A lot more cheaper than spending, you know, several hundred dollars on stones. I figure I at least try and see if I like doing it before I kind of invested that much money. Uh, the blade in this, I have a second use um, Schick, it's a Schick blade, a vintage Schick. I'll think about it here in a second. Not super stainless. Maybe I won't think of it. Um, well, 
Well, that's the, the blade, but it's empty and all it says a shit on it. We got another one here. Plus platinum, that's what I'm using. I really do love this winning right here. Some of you asked me on, on in the comments on the last video if you could use this as like an everyday shaver. Yo. Granted, it's only the second time I've used the winning 2.0, but I've used the winning for ages since it came out. I don't remember how long ago that was. Over a year. A couple years, I think. Maybe? Something like that. Oh, yeah, I think that straight razor pass did a pretty good job, though. I mean, it knocked a lot of that growth off. I only had two days, but still, I mean, it was efficient. And I didn't cut myself. I think it went pretty well. I'm getting there. I think it's a natural evolution of the wet shaving. Thing, you know, you start out with, uh, with DEs and then you realize there's a whole vintage game. I, mean, I didn't know. I bought a Vanderhagen from the BX when I was still in the military. That's what I started wet shaving with. I mean, I guess I always wet shave, right? I always use water. I never dry shave. That would be murder. But, uh, when I first started using DEs, it was that Vanderhagen and then started looking online and realized there's this whole community around DE shaving that I had no idea about. I always hated shaving before. Hated shaving. And then I started collecting vintage razors. I mean, I was like, you get some cool razors on the cheap that way. And that was a lot of fun. And then I started getting into modern razors, and I still like using vintage ones every once in a while. I'll tell me using vintage straight razors, but my DEs and SEs I tend to prefer modern ones nowadays. I think it's all an evolution. Like, right, I first got this little crummy DE, and then I got a better DE, and then I started hanging out with these groups, and I was just using the same kind of shaving cream or foam that I was using before. I tended to prefer uh, latherless creams, but I would use Barbasol sometimes too. And then I got a brush and some soap, and I think it's natural to kind of follow that progression down to the straight reader thing. And it's definitely a lot more difficult to figure out than a DE or an SE. But it's cool. I don't want to quit. I'm going to keep with it. I might quit one day. It might just not be for me. But I want to be able to make that decision from like a, a firm standing point of, yep, I tried it, I'm doing it. It's not my incompetence that's making me quit. It's just that maybe I prefer the shape from a, a DE. And almost all the people I, you know, you read about using straights and they all say it's more efficient. And you get a really good honed stropped razor. I 
that it's more efficient than using a DE. And they usually do two passes and it's super efficient and super close shades and all that. So I'm excited. I think it's fun to use them. It's fun to find them and hone them and all that stuff. The whole process is fun. It's time consuming, but fun. Um, but that was a really great pass. I mean, I don't feel like I have any irritation even from that first pass with the straight. I'll do a little touch up right here like I always do in a cold water splash and I'll be right back for splash and final results. All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Got the matching Monte Carlo splash. I uh, just got done with the cold water splash and it was a really good shave. Uh, I think I did pretty well with that straight on that first pass. I uh, didn't get any weepers or nothing. Oh, maybe I got like one little spot right there. Maybe I got like a little bump. No burn at all. It's still an alcohol based splash from Ariana and Evans. Ton of skin food in there. It probably doesn't have as much alcohol as some other splashes, but it's got enough. But I didn't really get any any burn on that at all. I was kind of surprised. I thought I might get a little bit. Oh, it smells really good. I got a little bit of Creed to, to spray on today to match this. Soap and splash. I got this decant from a raffle. I, know I always have a lot of stuff from raffles. I was really into raffles for a while. Um, I got this little 10 mil decant from a raffle. And uh, I use it every once in a while. It's nice, um, smells great. Uh, the longevity kind of sucks. Um, I did buy a new dupe uh, from Duo on that Black Friday sales. I bought some stuff for my wife and uh, for myself. And one of them was a dupe of the one of the older uh, releases of Creed that a lot of people preferred. I guess they recreated it or whatever, you know how dupes are. So uh, anyway, I bought that on the Black Friday sale and that should get here sometime this week. So looking forward to that. Should be interesting. Curious how it differs at all from the scent. Hopefully it lasts longer. It's an EDP strength, so it should be good, but we'll see. I tried a couple dupes of uh, Creed and they all kind of, they all smell great, um, but they all tend to have a longevity. That, that scent is like a bright, light kind of fruity sometimes i get apples sometimes i get pears depending on the dupe which is kind of weird um, but i think it's just because it's such a light scent uh, it doesn't really stick around too long it doesn't have like those big woody heavy notes to kind of anchor it down but shape is great base feels great i'm gonna add a little oil like i always do my my face dries here in a couple minutes i've been using uh this badger post shave oil um yeah, it's just oils. It absorbs in your skin right away. I don't, it doesn't leave my face greasy or anything like that at all, but it's got sunflower seed oil, bobab seed oil, bergamot, peel, uh, obviously oil, <laughs> rosehip fruit extract, sunflower, vitamin E, menthol. I don't feel any menthol or smell any menthol in it at all. Um, it does have an asterisk next to it, so maybe, I mean, it says menthol right on the front, but I don't get any menthol uh, either in the scent or in the feel. And then some organic essential oils for the scent and everything. But it's kind of a, a bergamot and a vanilla. It smells nice. Uh, it goes on my skin really. My skin's smooth enough. So I just do like kind of like a half pump, like two half pumps. I don't need a lot. For me, it absorbs pretty quick. I mean, if you use too much, then yeah, it's hard to, you know, for your skin to absorb all that. But. Kind of figure out the right amount for you. Feels great. I think my skin feels like super soft and moisturized and very soft. I like it. That's probably not for everybody, but uh, I found that I really like some of these post shave oils over like post shave balms and stuff. Uh, it just works better for my skin. Uh, but I got that at a local like green grocer's, Whole Foods type store. I, I don't always make fun of me. I can never remember the name of the store. But it's like a Whole Foods type store. And uh, yeah, it was over there, like a, you know, shaving hair, shampoo products, you know, that kind of area. And uh, they had like a men's section and they had some, this this product, they, this brand, Badger makes a bunch of stuff. They do make a soap, a shaving soap. I don't recommend it. It's a hard soap and it's single eye and uh, it makes a lather, but it's, it's almost, it, it's super airy and it dissipates super, super quick. I tried it for a while and I could never get it to work. Um, the pre-shave oil I have, it's okay. I have that as well. 
Um, I tend to prefer the, the creams over for the pre-shave, um, but the pre-shave oil works pretty well as well. Anyways, that's enough product plugging for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be more straights. Looking forward to, I'm gonna try to get the ones out to Razor Emporium today um, so they can get shipped out for that service that I bought this weekend and get honed and everything and sent back. They say a two to three day turnaround. So say shipping and then three days a week and then shipping back. So I don't know, a couple weeks before Christmas. So I'll be looking forward to those then and I'll make sure to definitely show them to you guys. I'll be seeing you then.